Hi everybody, today is going to be basically for the ladies because we are going to work on helicopters. It's not a common topic in technique, but why not? It's lots of fun. Um, first we will start with a warm-up, then we will do a preparation exercise for helicopteros standing, then we will lay down on the floor and we will do two sets of exercises to practice the movements of our legs in the air. First we will do it straight and then we will do it round. Then we will practice the helicopter one more time using a uh, support so that we can jump. And at the very end we will do something for the men. We are going to use the structure of the helicopter so that we can come up with some interesting adornments that we can put in our steps. Okay? Let's start. Okay, warm up. It's going to be exactly like the class before. But I'm going to do every exercise with you. So we start with feet together and a straight posture, breathe, relax, let the weight of your body come down to the floor and we start with shoulder rotations, backwards. Remember, don't use the elbows, use only the shoulders, okay? And we do eight times. One, two, three, slowly, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The next one is circles with the arms. So we start with the arms down, then we point the arms forward, then up, and then we open the arms to the sides, keeping them straight. At this point we open the chest and then down again. And we repeat. We're going to do eight times. Okay. One, <clears throat> keep the shoulders down, two, and three, Keep the arms straight at all times. Four and five and six. Big circle. Seven and eight. Okay, the next one is uh, stretches for the side of the torso. So we point one arm to the ceiling. Then the hand that is on the leg slides down the leg until you can touch the side of your knee, more or less. Then you hold this stretch three seconds and then you use the hand that is up to pull yourself up again. And then we repeat with the other arm. <clears throat> so we're going to do four times each side. One, go down, hold it, and up. And one, go down, hold it, and up and two go down hold it up and two go down hold it up and three go down hold it up and three go down hold it up and the last one four Go down, hold it, up, and four, go down, hold it, and up. Okay, the next one is rotations with the torso. So we open the legs, we bend the knees slightly, we keep the hip and the head looking forward, we make a circle with the arms, and we turn our torso left and right. And we do 16 times, eight and eight, okay? And <clears throat> One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Eight more. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Very good. The next one, we stretch the knees. We put our hands behind the head. And then we bend forward until our torso is parallel with the floor. And then we continue going down and we bounce three times with our heads. One, two, three. And then we return to the parallel position and we go up. And this is one repetition, okay? We do eight times. I'll do it profile so you can see it better. <clears throat> so, one, parallel, Bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Two, parallel, bounce, 
bounce, bounce, parallel, and up. Three, parallel, bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Four, parallel, bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Five, parallel, bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Six, parallel, <coughs> bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Seven, parallel, bounce, 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 parallel, and up. And eight, parallel, bounce, 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 parallel, and up. Okay. The next one, we keep our legs open and the knees straight. We grab our hips with our hands and we do circles with the hip. So we start back, then we move the hip to the side. At this point you should feel a stretch on the inside of this leg. Then forward, then to the other side, feel the stretch here, and then down, uh, uh, back, sorry. And this is a whole circle and we do eight on each direction, okay? So we start and one, <coughs> two, and three, and four, and five, big circle, six, seven, and eight. Keep the knees straight, yeah? Change direction. One, and two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and the last exercise, we put our feet together again, legs parallel and together, we bend our knees, we relax, and we bounce three times. One, two, three. We stretch the knees, we push the floor down, and we hold this position for three seconds on the toes, and then we go down. And this is one repetition. So we will do eight, okay? We start, one, palm, palm, go up, hold, and down. Two, bounce, 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 stretch, go up, hold, and down. Three, bounce, 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 go up, hold it, go down. Four, bounce, 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 and go up, hold it, down, five, Bounce, 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 go up, hold it, down, six, bounce, 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 up, hold it, down, seven, bounce, 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 go up, hold it, and down, and the last one, bounce, 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 go up, hold it, and down. Okay, we're ready with the warm-up, let's go to the next uh, part. Okay, we're going to do now a preparation exercise for the helicoptero. <clears throat> now, the structure of an helicoptero is a jump on one leg, then four boleros in the air, and then landing on the other leg. And the four boleros are like this, are one boleo front, then two boleros back with each leg, and then a last boleo front. So this is the first exercise we're going to do. We will start with feet together, I put my weight on the right foot and then I do a boleo front with the left leg, change of weight, boleo back with right leg, change of weight, boleo back with left leg, change of weight, boleo front with right leg. Okay? Now the technique for this is to relax the leg a lot, relax the knee and relax the foot joint so that when you do each boleo you can snap the leg. Yeah? Relax the front of the leg, especially for the back boleros, yeah? Now, usually I would do this exercise with music, but I don't want a copyright strike on the video, so instead of that, I'm going to use a metronome, like this, to have a reference for the rhythm. This metronome is from Korg, it's an old model I have had for years, and I really recommend you to get one of these, because um, although you can use music to train, Sometimes it's good to use a metronome because it's the most effective way to improve the precision of your timing. 
because you don't have anything else to distract you. You don't have uh, lyrics, music, uh, harmonies, uh, arrangement, singing. It's just the pure rhythm. So it forces you to be very, very precise with your movements. And when your timing is off, it's very easy to feel it when you are working with a metronome. Now, if you don't have something like this, you can, for example, use an app on your phone. Um, the problem with metronome apps on the phone is that the phone is doing lots of things in the background. And sometimes the beats are not really exact with the timing. You can feel some beats that are a bit laggy. So it's not my preferred option. Another possibility is to use a free online app that runs in your browser. Then you have a metronome on your browser. But the problem, of course, is that you need a computer there. So uh, this is very practical. I recommend you to get this. You can find it very easily in any music shop or online also. I will put a link on the description so that you can find it. Now, the way I have set this is <clears throat> two beats per bar. It sounds like this. First beat, second beat. First beat, second beat. Because this is usually the time signature of tango music. Two beats per bar. And the tempo right now is quite slow. It's 58 beats per minute. Because this tempo uh, fits very well with uh, many tracks from this alley. Yeah, For example... Front, six, back, back, front, 
seven, back, back, front, and eight, back, back, front. Okay? Now we do it the same, but to the other side. We start with the bolero front, starting with the right leg. Ready? We do it together. And one, back, back, front. Two, back, back, front. Three, back, back, front. Four, back, back, front. Five, back, back, front. Six, back, back, front. Seven, back, back, front. Eight, back, back, front. Okay? If you want, you can repeat this block again. If you have a metronome, you can challenge yourself and raise the tempo. Try 60 BPM, 65 BPM, 70 BPM, faster. And one uh, observation, if you're a woman doing this, I recommend you to do this exercise with high heels. Because you are crossing your free foot in front of your standing leg very often. And if you point the foot, your heel will be looking directly towards your leg. And if you are not careful, you can scratch the skin of your standing leg with your heel when you do this movement, especially if you do it fast. So I recommend you to put it, to do it with high heels. And when you do the slow version, the first one we did, uh, try to measure the distance that you need so that you don't injure yourself. If you have problems with balance, you can do this exercise supporting yourself on a wall in front of you, yeah, like this, that's no problem. But girls, be careful with your heels, okay? Now let's go to the next block. Okay, so the next block is uh, an exercise for uh, helicopteros laying down on the floor. And uh, girls, remember, keep your heels so that you uh, practice to learn without scratching the front of your leg with the heel, yeah? And uh, it's going to be like this. We're going to lay down on the floor like this, and then we're going to lift the legs and practice the movement of the helicopter with the legs up in the air. Now, because this can be tiring, I recommend you to not do this, lifting the middle of your, um, of your torso, because it's going to kill the lower back, yeah? you're going to feel pain. So what I recommend you is lay down on the floor as flat as you can and then try to push your stomach towards the floor. Sink it down so you're really flat. And then extend your arms to the sides, palms down, so you have very good support. Okay? And then extend the legs forward, up, on zero position. And then the exercise is like this. Bolero front with the left leg, so we cross it like this. Then we're going to switch the knees. We bend the right leg and we stretch the left leg. That's the bolero back. Then we switch the knees. We uh, stretch the right, bend the left. The second bolero back. And then <coughs> we stretch the left and we bend the right and we do the last bolero front. And then we return to zero position. Yeah? So it's front, back, back, front, zero, okay? Now, we're going to use the metronome again, same tempo, same time signature, and we're going to do it slowly. So we're going to do one change per beat. Bam, bam, bam. And we're going to do it four times on each side. So get ready. <clears throat> Prepare the legs, zero position, and one, boom, zero, and two, bam, 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 zero, and three, bam, 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 zero, and four, bam, 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 zero. Okay? Good. Now we're going to do it to the other side, starting with the bolero front, 
with the left with the right leg. Okay, so prepare, <clears throat> lift the legs, and we do it together. And one, and one, and one, and one, two, and one, and one, and three, and one, and one, and four, and one, and one. Okay, great. Now. <clears throat> We're going to do it twice as fast. So I'm going to do like before, and I'm going to set the metronome so that it plays an extra subdivision between beats. And now the idea is to do the same sequence, but twice as fast. So one pa 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 pa, and one pa 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 pa. Okay, like this. So we're going to do it eight times on each side, okay? So, <clears throat> prepare your position, flatten the stomach on the floor, back flat, arms open, raise the legs, zero position, and we start. Uh, one, ta, 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 come. Two, three, um, um. Straight down like this, 
it goes in a circle, like this, in a circle. And this foot doesn't go straight up like this, it goes also in a circle. So both movements are like this. This is the first change, from voleo front to voleo up. And if you see, the feet are always apart, always apart. Now, when you change from the first voleo up to the second voleo up, you don't use only the knees, because then you have this. You continue with the circle doing like this. So, the feet never touch each other. They always keep a distance, like this. And then you continue the circle to finish with the last volume forward, yeah? So, you are always doing a circle and the feet always keep a distance with each other. Oh, okay? So, um, now we're going to do four helicopteros, slowly. So we're going to set the metronome again to 58 BPM, two beats per bar. And we are going to do the helicopter like this. So remember the position, yeah? The back is flat on the floor, the stomach is pushed down towards the floor so that you have a lot of contact. Then you open the arms to the sides, palms down, so that you have a very good basis to work. And then we're going to start with this voleo and then we're going to follow the metronome. We're going to do one, two, three, four. And then return to zero position and then again. One, two, three, four. Return to zero position. Okay? Let's do it four times, starting with the voleo front with the left leg. Let's do it together. Prepare. Prepare the legs. And one, two, three, four, zero. 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 Okay? Try to really make circles with your feet. Now let's do it four more times to the other side, starting with the front boleo with the right leg. Prepare, <clears throat> prepare the legs, and one, two, three, four, zero. 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 Okay? Good. Now we're going to repeat the exercise like before, twice as fast. So I set the metronome to play an extra subdivision. And now we're going to do it twice as fast. So one, two, three, four, zero. And one, two, three, four, zero. Okay? So let's do it eight times. And we start with the volet front with the left leg. Okay? <clears throat> Prepare. Prepare the legs. And one, two, three, four, zero. And one, two, three, four, zero. Uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Four more times. One, two, three, four, zero. Uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Uh, one, two, three, four, zero. And uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Okay? <clears throat> now we're going to do it eight more times. Starting to the other side with the voleo with the right leg. Okay? Prepare the position, flatten the stomach, open the arms, prepare the legs, and we do it together. 
Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, zero. One, two, three, four, zero. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Make circles with the feet. One, two, three, four, zero. Four more times. One, two, three, four, zero. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, zero. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, zero. And one, two, three, four, zero. Okay, great. This was the uh, the end of this block. Let's continue with the next one. Okay, so now we are going to practice the helicoptero with a jump. And for that, of course, we need some kind of support so we can stay longer um, in the air. And I have this device. It's for uh, doing fitness exercises. It's very practical because it's very strong, it's very stable. <clears throat> you can grab it and then uh, work with your legs as long as you want. Yeah. But of course, um, I will put a link in the description so that you can uh, find this and buy it online if you don't have it. But of course, some of us don't have this thing. So for that, we can use something else. We can use put this away. We can use two chairs like this. Yeah. Put them like this. And then you can support yourself on them and practice. Now, they are, uh, this is not so stable. So um, it's a bit dangerous because, for example, if you are not pushing directly down, uh, this can happen. Yeah? Um, you can have an accident. So in order to make the chairs uh, more stable, you can put something heavy on top of them. For example, I have uh, this... Uh, two weights, each one is uh, three kilos, and then if you put them on top of the chairs, now they are heavier, and now it's much more secure to balance yourself on them. The other problem is that it might be uncomfortable to grab this thin edge of the chair for a long time. It might be painful for your hand. So for that, the solution is very easy. You just need um, two pieces of cloth like this and you put them on top of the edge you grab them and now it's much easier and more comfortable to grab the chairs yeah <clears throat> anyway this is how you can practice the uh, helicoptero at home safely but if you can I recommend to get the other device. I'm going to show it with uh, the other device so that you can see my legs more clear, okay? Okay, so I'm back with this and uh, now we are going to practice the helicopter trying the jump. So we're going to start in the middle with the feet together between your chairs or if you have this and then we're going to put the left foot forward and the right foot is going to be our jump leg. So when we jump up, of course we use the arms to help us stay up. Then we're going to do the first boleo at the same time. One, like this, yeah? One. You can try this a few times. One. Then we're going to change the legs, change the legs, and change the legs, and then land on the left leg. And then prepare again the position, yeah? So we do jump, boleo, front, boleo, back, boleo, back, boleo, front, land. One more time. And jump, boleo, front, boleo, back, boleo, back, boleo, front, and land. Okay? <clears throat> we are going to do it with the metronome four times to each side. So that's our tempo. And we're going to do jump, pam, 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 land. Okay? Jump, pam, 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 land. Let's do it together. Jumping with the right leg. Boleo front with the left leg. And 
One ta 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 ma. Ah. Two pam 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 do. Ah. Three pam 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 kam. And four pam 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 ka. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to jump with the left leg, and the first volley is going to be with the right leg front, and then we will do the four volleys and land on the right leg. Okay, so we do it together with the tempo. Ah, one pam 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 pam. Ah, one pam 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 pam. Ah, one pam 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 pam. And one pam 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 pam. Okay. Now we're going to do the same, but twice as fast. Ah. Ta 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 ta, because that's more realistic what you have to do when you jump in the air. So I'm going to set the metronome up so that it plays me one more subdivision between the beats that I already had. Ta 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 ta. That's ta 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 ta. That's the speed now that we're going to use. So. We're going to do it eight times now, and we're going to jump on the right leg, front volley with the left. So prepare. We do it together. And one pa 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 pa. And one pam 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 pa. And three pa 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 pa. And four pa 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 pa. And five pa 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 pa. And six pa 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 pa. And seven two. And eight two. Okay. <clears throat> Now we're going to do it to the other side. We jump with the left leg. We do the first volley forward with the right, and then we do the four volleys, and we land on the right. And we're going to do it exactly. With this speed, ready? We do it together. And one, two, and two, and three, two, and four, two, and five, and six. And seven and eight. Okay, great. Now, one last tip is that when you do a uh, an helicopter or for real, there is one more movement that you have to uh, add to it, but that's very difficult to practice alone or like this because what happens is that. It's not only that you do a circle with your feet to make it look round. You also have to use your hip like this. Yeah. So usually, what happens is that the woman starts the helicopter like this. Yeah. She jumps. She does the first volley like this, and then from the from the first volley back. To the second boleo back, she changes her hip, and then she goes on the last boleo forward, and she lands. Yeah. So between the first boleo back and the second boleo back, she twists her hips like in a rocho or a pivot. Yeah. So I'll show you once more. You start the helicopter with the side looking front. And then you jump on your back leg, and you do the first boleo. One forward, then boleo back, then change boleo back, and then boleo front, and then land. The problem is that if you're supporting yourself with something like this, it's very difficult to do this uh, change of hip without bumping into the chairs. So. Um, Yeah, it's it's really a little bit difficult.
you know? It's not very practical. So this is something you really need to do with a partner. And if your partner leads helicopteros right, when he lifts you and you are doing the first volley of back, he will give you a lead so that your hip changes, rotates in the air. And then you will have the impulse to do a really round, spectacular volley. But this is something that you need to do with a partner. At least with this, you can prepare your legs and you can prepare already the movement so that when you go to the partner, you already know exactly what you have to do with your legs when you jump. Okay? So let's go to the last block. Okay, in this last part, we will take the structure of the helicopter of the woman and we will use it to find some interesting adornments for the man. So let's remember, the helicopter was a step back with a jump and a voleo forward and then after this two voleos back and then a last voleo forward that lands again on the floor with a step forward yeah so step back with jump voleo forward voleo back voleo back voleo forward landing step forward to finish okay so um, let's take out the two voleos back we won't use them we will only use the two voleos forward, this and this. And for the first uh, sequence that we are going to see, we are also going to take out the jump. We won't jump, we will just change weight. So the structure that we have left then is like this. A step back with a voleo forward without a jump, then a change of weight, the second voleo forward and then a step forward. Yeah? So, without the adornments, the step would be back, change weight, and front, which is a very common movement in tango. Back, change weight, and front. So, with the adornments, it's going to be back, boleo, change weight, boleo, front. This boleo is very low. If you want to do this and this, you can do it if you want, but I consider that for this adornment, especially for the man, it looks very elegant if you do a low voleo like this, in which the middle of the back of your lower leg, this point, touches the middle of the front of the other lower leg, this point. So you touch these two points together, and then for the other voleo like this. So this is the sequence we are going to do. Back, Boleo front, change weight, boleo front, and front. Okay? So again, let's use the metronome for this. 58 BPM, 2 beats per bar. It sounds like this. And with an extra subdivision in each beat. Yeah? Okay? So I'm going to put the metronome here. It's a nice trick I found. And then we're going to do it slowly. It's going to be like this. Ah, back boleo, change boleo, front, change. Back boleo, change boleo, front. Okay? We're going to do it eight times. We will do it together. I am going back with the right leg. The right leg is the driving leg. Okay? Ah, back, ah, 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 ah. One, two, three, four, one. Ah. One, two, three, four, one. Ah. One, two, three, four, one. Four more times. One, two, three, four, one. Ah. One, two, three, four, one. Ah. One, two, three, four, one. Ah. One, two, three, four, one. Finish. Okay? Now we will do the other leg. You don't need to change orientation. I'm, I'm changing myself so that my driving leg is always facing the camera, so that it's easier to see. So remember, one is the step back, two is the boleo forward, three is the change of weight, and four is the other boleo forward. And then one is the step forward, okay? So let's do it together. Now I'm going back with the left. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. Four more times. One, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. Okay? Now we will do it twice as fast. So we will set an extra subdivision in our uh, rhythm reference. So now we have four. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah? This is the new speed. I will show you just a couple of times before we do it together. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. And yes? Okay? So again, go back with the right leg and let's do it together eight times. And one, two, three, four, one. 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 And okay. Now let's move to the other side. I'm going back with the left now, eight times. Okay, and one, two, three, four, one. 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 Ah. Okay? Good. <clears throat> the last one we are going to do is we are going to take the jump of the helicopter of the woman. So when we do the first step back and the first voleo, we are also going to do a little jump. Remember that when men do things, these kind of things, the movements are very, very tiny. So it's not a big jump. Yeah? It's just a very small jump like this. Boom. Yeah? Just barely leaving the floor. Boom. That's with the first volume. So it's going to be one is the step, two is the voleo with the jump, then three is the change of weight after the jump, four is the other voleo forward, and then you finish with a step forward. So it's one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. Okay? So let's do it again in the slow version with just one extra subdivision in each beat. Okay? So I'm going to show you first watch and then we do it together. Okay? So it's going to be like this. One, two, three, four, one. It's very slow. One, two, three, four, one. But it's a good exercise for balance. One, two, three, four, one. Okay? So let's do it eight times together. I'm going back with the right leg. Ah. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. 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 Four times more. One, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. Uh, okay? Let's do the other side. Now I'm going back with the left leg. Eight times. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. 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 Uh, 
One, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. And finish. Okay? Now, we will do it twice as fast. So let's set the metronome to play an extra subdivision. And now, the sequence will be like this. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Okay? I'm going back with the right. First, I will show you a couple of times. It's going to be like this. And one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one. Okay? Remember, one, two, three, four, one. Okay? Let's do it together eight times. And one, two, three, four, one. 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 Okay? Now let's do it the other side. So I'm going back with the left leg and let's do it eight times. And one, two, three, four, one. 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 And okay good so this was the last section i hope you had fun it's a lot of material today but um, i hope uh, it helps you and of course you can repeat each section of uh, this video and challenge yourself try other tempos try faster try slower which is also difficult and uh, practice 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 and see you in the next video thank you very much